1,000 years ago, stories about the lives of Australian animals were recorded in an ancient book. The stories are secret and can only be told to children. These wonderful animal stories have been kept safe in the magical book of Cocky. Okay. All yeah, right. Come on. Let's see if we can do this. Now, where are my glasses? Where are they? In here. Oh, in here. All right. These are my special glasses. You ready? We're going to open the book of Cocky, but there's a problem with this book because it's so old. It sometimes sticks together, and the only way I can open it. Get the... You're going to have to whisper to this magic book. I need you to whisper really quietly twice. Book of Cocky. Go! Book of Cocky. Book of Cocky. All right, here we go. You ready? Oh, wow. The first story. This is my most favourite story. This is the story of Snoot the Bandicoot. Now, a long-nosed Bandicoot, Snoot, was from the Mulga country of Outback Australia. This is about a thousand years ago. The Mulga country gets its name from the stumpy Mulga trees that grow in the red soil. Snoot began her life as a jelly bean sized baby in her mother's pouch. That's that big. But this cute, furry and lovable little creature would be different to her brothers and sisters. Snoot would become a legend. It all began long time ago, when Snoot had just grown big enough to leave the safety of her mother's pouch. One day when she was learning how to use her sharp claws, and long snoot nose to hunt out tasty treats like witchy grubs and beetles, she heard a dreadful noise. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait and see what happens. A very rude giant wombat who had eaten way too much uh, burped his uh, way past her uh, and disappeared uh, down into uh, his burrow. Uh, 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 A terrible earthquake rocked the ground and a huge crack opened up under Snoot. But as she was catching her breath back after her narrow escape, she heard some frantic cries. Help me! The voice called. Someone needs to help. My joey has fallen into a huge crack. The earthquake caused that. Snoot trotted over to see what all the commotion was about and saw a mob of red kangaroos 
crowded around a big crack in the ground. Ah, what happened? What happened? A noisy cockatoo squawked. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, what happened? What happened? Said the cockatoo. I don't know. Mother kangaroo sobbed. There was a loud rumbling noise. The earth just opened up and my little Joey fell in. Tears ran down the cheeks of the mother kangaroo. I think he may be lost forever. The mother kangaroo sobbed. I know what happened. All eyes turned to the small bandicoot Snoot as she stood up on her hind legs to make herself look taller. Remember, a bandicoot's only about this high, aren't they? Only tiny, smaller than a rabbit. A very rude wombat walked past us as I was eating a very tasty grub. He was burping loudly when he went down into his burrow. Now, Snoot thought that the terrible crack in the ground had come because of the burping wombat. But really, it was a an earthquake. Then all of a sudden, uh. a loud burp echoed up from the nearby wombat burrow. See? Snoot said, quite matter-of-factly. I think he caused the ground to open. But really it was the earthquake. What can we do? The mother roo sighed. <laughs> we are kangaroos. We never go underground. There's no one who can help. I can help, Snoot said. And Snoot made her way into the middle of the mob of kangaroos. Now we wait and see what happens. <laughs> Laughed the cockatoo. What can you do? You're too small to rescue a joey. The mean cockatoo then added. Big nose. Because remember the poor old Bandicoot had a long nose, didn't she? Snoot looked up at the cheeky cockatoo. I'm proud of my long nose. It helps me to smell my way around underground in the dark. Bandicoots are very clever under the ground. They live in burrows and they use their long snooty nose to smell and find where they are. She quickly added, it's better than your sticky beak, you nosy cockatoo. Oh, he doesn't have a nose. No, but he's got a sticky beak. <laughs> <laughs> then, without another word, Snoot dived headfirst into the big crack in the ground. Going to go and rescue the joey. Snoot was right to be proud of her long nose as she sniffed around in the dark. It didn't take long to find the frightened little Joey. Help me! Joey whispered. It's all right. Snoop patted him on the head like this. <laughs> take hold of my paw and I'll lead you to the surface. The mob of roos cheered when they saw Snoot and the Joey emerge from the crack. My baby! The mother roo cried as she smothered the little Joey in kisses. Get out of it! Said the little Joey. Get out of it, Mum, not in front of the mob. Little Joey didn't want to be kissed in front of all those kangaroos. Cocky was ashamed. I'm so sorry I made fun of your long nose. He puffed up his feathers on his chest. I will make it my duty to tell all the cockatoos to spread the heroic story about you, Snoot. Said the cocky. And then all of a sudden, again, uh. that terrible wombat in his burrow. <laughs> 